Nora? Margaret, thank you. Let's turn now to Hurricane Helene. The storm could become one of the deadliest on record. More than 160 people are dead and hundreds more are missing. Scientists say climate change makes these hurricanes larger, stronger, and more deadly because of the historic rainfall. Senator Vance, according to CBS News polling, seven in 10 Americans and more than 60% of Republicans under the age of 45 favor the U.S. taking steps to try and reduce climate change. Senator, what responsibility would the Trump administration have to try and reduce the impact of climate change? I'll give you two minutes. Sure. So first of all, let's, let's start with the hurricane because it's an unbelievable, unspeakable human tragedy. I, I just saw today actually a photograph of two grandparents on a roof with a six-year-old child, and it was the last photograph ever taken of them because the roof collapsed and those innocent people lost their lives. And I, I'm sure Governor Waltz joins me in saying our hearts go out to those innocent people, our prayers go out to them, and we want as robust and aggressive as a federal response as we can get to save as many lives as possible, and then, of course, afterwards, to help the people in those communities rebuild. I mean, these are communities that I love. Some of them I know very personally in Appalachia, all across the Southeast. They need their government to do their job. Job, and I, I commit that when Donald Trump is president again, the government will put the citizens of this country first when they suffer from a disaster. Now, Nora, you asked about climate change. I think it's, this is a very important issue. Look, a lot of people are justifiably worried about all these crazy weather patterns. I think it's important for us, first of all, to say, Donald Trump and I support clean air, clean water. We want the environment to be cleaner and safer. But one of the things that I've noticed, some of our Democratic friends talking a lot about, is, is a... But drill, baby, drill concern about carbon emissions, this idea that carbon emissions drives all of the climate change. Well, let's just say that's true, just for the sake of argument so we're not arguing about weird science. Let's just say that's true. Well, if you believe that, what would you what would you want to do? The answer is that you'd want to reshore as much American manufacturing as possible, and you'd want to produce as much energy as possible in the United States of America because we're the cleanest economy in the entire world. What have Kamala Harris's policies actually led to? More energy production in China, more manufacturing overseas, more doing business in some of the dirtiest parts of the entire world. And when I say that, I mean the amount of carbon emissions they're doing per unit of economic output. So if we actually care about getting cleaner air and cleaner water, the best thing to do is to double down and invest in American workers and the American people. And unfortunately, Kamala Harris has done exactly the opposite. Governor Walls, you have two minutes to respond. Well, we got close to an agreement because all those things are happening. Look, first of all, it is a horrific tragedy uh, with this hurricane, and, and my heart goes out to the folks that are down there uh, in contact with the governors. I serve as co-chair of the Council of Governors as we work together on these emergency managements. Governors know no partisanship. They work together to all of the governors and the emergency responders are on the ground. Those happen on the front end. The federal government comes in, makes sure they're there to that we recover, but we're still in that phase where we need to make sure that they're staying there, staying focused. Now look, coming back to the climate change issue, there's no doubt this thing roared onto the scene faster and stronger than anything we've seen. Senator Vance has said that there's a climate problem in the past. Donald Trump called it a hoax and then joked that these things would make more beachfront property to be able to invest in. What we've seen out of the Harris uh, administration now, the Biden-Harris administration, is we've seen this investment. We've seen massive investments, the biggest in global history that we've seen in the Inflation Reduction Act has created jobs all across the country, 2000 in Jeffersonville, Ohio, taking the EV technology that we invented and making it here. 200,000 jobs across the country. The largest solar manufacturing plant in North America sets in Minnesota. But my farmers know climate change is real. They've seen 500 year droughts, 500 year floods back to back. But what they're doing is adapting and this has allowed them to tell me, look, I harvest corn, I harvest soybean, and I harvest wind. We are producing more natural gas and more oil at any time than we ever have. We're also producing more clean energy. So the, the, the solution for us is to continue to move forward that climate change is real. Reducing our impact is absolutely critical, but this is not a false choice. You can do that at the same time you're creating the jobs that we're seeing all across the country. That's exactly what this administration has done. We are seeing us becoming an energy superpower for the future, not just the current. And that's what absolutely makes sense. And then we start thinking about how do we mitigate these disasters? Okay, so we, you know, the chat, pointed out that Walls was a little uncomfortable in the beginning. He was just getting started. 
Well, he's definitely found the sweet spot. Tim Wall's amazing answer there. Um, also, again, going back to what I talked about in the first question, reminding reminding the country, reminding everyone watching that, hey, we're running up against Donald Trump, the guy who calls climate change a hoax. J.D. Vance said that it was a problem, and now he's, uh, you know, he can't really undermine Donald Trump. Um, I also wanted to point out that old soul uh, called the beachfront property line. I saw you. Uh, I see you in the chat there, old soul. Uh, nice, nice call on that one. Thank you. Senator, I want to give you an opportunity to respond there. The governor mentioned that President Trump has called climate change a hoax. Do you agree? Well, look, what the president has said is that if the Democrats, in particular Kamala Harris and her leadership, if they really believe that climate change is serious, what they would be doing is more manufacturing and more energy production. No, J.D. No, 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 no. Donald Trump called it a hoax. Is it a hoax? Answer the question. ...in the United States of America, and that's not what they're doing. So clearly Kamala Harris herself doesn't believe her own rhetoric on this. If she did, she would actually agree with Donald Trump's energy policies. Now, something, something Governor Wall said I think is important to touch upon because when we talk about clean energy, I think that's a slogan that often the Democrats will use here. And I'm talking, of course, about the Democratic leadership. And the real issue is that if you're spending hundreds of millions or even billions of dollars of American taxpayers our money on solar panels that are made in China, number one, you're going to make the economy dirtier. We should be making more of those solar panels here in the United are, States Minnesota. of America. Some of them are, Tim, but a lot of them are being made overseas in China, especially the components that go into those solar panels. So if you really want to make the environment cleaner, you've got to invest in more energy production. We haven't built a nuclear facility, I think, one in the past 40 years. Senator. Natural gas, we got to invest more in it. Kamala Harris has done the opposite. That's raised energy prices and also meant that we're doing Senator, worse by the climate. Senator, your time is up. Governor, would you like to respond? Well, look, we're, we're producing more natural gas than we ever have. There's no moratorium on that. We're producing more oil. But the folks know, and my, like I said again, these are not liberal folks. These are not folks that are Green New Deal folks. These are farmers that have been drought one year, massive flooding the next year. They understand that it makes sense. Look, our number one export cannot be topsoil from erosion from these massive storms. We saw it in Minnesota this summer. And thinking about how do we respond to that, we're thinking ahead on this. And what Kamala Harris has been able to do in Minnesota, we're starting to weatherproof some of these things. The infrastructure law that was passed allows us to think about mitigation in the future. How do we make sure that we're protecting by burying our power lines? How do we make sure that we're protecting lakefronts and things that we're seeing more and more of? But to call it a hoax and to take the oil company executives to Mar-a-Lago, say, give me money for my campaign and I'll let you do whatever you want. We can be smarter about that, and an all-above energy policy is exactly what she's doing, creating those jobs right here. Governor, your time is up. The overwhelming consensus among scientists is that the Earth's climate is warming at an unprecedented rate. Margaret, 